Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I'm in the back of the van, or well, I'm outside, but these washing machines are inside. I just bought these today. A Bosch WFF 2000. Pretty clean. Quite an interesting one. Very similar to my WFF 1800, but it's got a higher spin speed. Not much, only a thousand still. But it's got this really cool thing on here. So it's still an electromechanical machine, which I reckon are the best. Once it gets to the end, it'll stop at that line. But you can set it to have a time delayed start up to, I'm presuming those are hours, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool, I haven't seen that before on electromechanical timer. So that's the Bosch WFF 2000. Over here I've got a Bosch Excel 1200 Express. If I open the door, it's got a model number WFO2465 GB. It's the uh, more modern version with the, you know, computerized uh, circuit board inside and I, I might have had one of these before. I've certainly had a similar one I think what I'm gonna do with that is just sell it although If I can it's got some little rust spots there on the bottom. I Think this one has a plastic tub inside it might have a metal one It's one of the ones I think when they crossed over when Bosch crossed over for making this type of fascia with these kinds of buttons And knobs and the little window and whatnot Look in here. Look at this It's got this little card in here uh, to this type, which doesn't have a little card, but I guess everything's written on the front in this case. But they put on these uh, digital displays and stuff like that. But let me show you in the garage. I've got something in between both of them. So in the garage, more washing machines. Well, in this case, just one washing machine. This is one I hadn't heard of before, a Bosch WFK2801. So when you see, what I'm saying is that this is kind of in between. Oh, whatever way I've got that top thing fitted on. The um, tumble dryer up there is uh, getting stuck. Let's try and put my shoulder against that to lift it up. I'll tuck in that piece of wood. It's not ideal. It's um, It's one of these ones that has a special connector to sit one on top of the other. So this one as well has this little card, almost the same buttons, except it has a delay start here. This is no longer electromechanical, this is now a selector uh, for a control panel, a computer circuit board inside. Um, and then this one goes up to 1400 spin, which is really quite fast. I'm wondering if this is plastic inside. No, no I think this is metal. I think I've had the lid off this one to have a look. This one's a bit grubby. It's got carbon dust in here, which should presumably come off the motor brushes or something. And it's got a lot of mold in there, but I'm not worried about mold. I can, you can clean that off. The other one that's inside is in the cellar. It's the WOK, and I'll post a video about that soon enough. I've had some more teething troubles with it, apart from the first video. Um, quite an interesting fault on the PCB that I've managed to fix, bizarrely. But it's the same, so it's a top loader, but it has the same types of buttons as this. It has a ready-in timer thing here. It has a knob like this. Different programs, I presume, but I can't remember. I don't remember what spin speeds it has, but it's almost the same as this machine. So that's a WOK rather than WFK. And I uh, can't remember what number it was. WOK 2000, something like that. WOK is probably overhead or something like that. And WFK is front. WF, washing machine, front, K series. 2801. Maybe if somebody knows about the Bosch labeling systems, that would be uh, useful and interesting to me. Up on top, we've got a WTA 2000 tumbler. Great tumble dryer. I've got two of them already. So I only bought this tumble dryer because it came with this washing machine. Uh, the two of them were 50 quid and I was just interested on it. The ones out in the van were, I think, one was 16. Let's have a look at them. This one was 12 the WFF and this one here WFO was 16 quid on eBay both in auctions which means nobody really wants them you know this one's got a lot of little kick scratches on it and stuff like that it's got yellowing of the fascia so is this one but they're good machines apparently they both work apparently they all work but this one fits in with the series. In my mind, how I do laundry, or how I maintain washing machines, is that a washing machine 
uh, that's really cheap is liable to break. And I know with these Bosch ones, they go through motor brushes, you know, every couple of years. It's not particularly fancy. But what I found is, when I had one of these before, the circuit board on it went. When the circuit board in these goes, you're, you're out of luck. Because, you know, something, the element goes and blows a circuit or something like that. Whereas with these ones, they're electromechanical, so if something goes, it just stops. The power's all flowing through cables, the whole way through, cables and switches, cables and switches. Sometimes it's got little lights for the pre-wash, short wash, high water level, intensive and so on. But uh, yeah, it's all mechanical. Whereas with these, you know, once they go, you could repair the circuit board, but if you've got a big black spot in the circuit board and a component in the middle there, you know, on a 16 pound machine it isn't worth replacing, so what I might do is sell this one. Uh, this video really, I suppose, doesn't suit the brick contingent of my subscribers, but uh, hello to you guys, and uh, yeah, there's nothing on the cards for brick smashing at the moment, but uh, that's that's how it goes. There will be in the future, I presume, whenever they come up. I just haven't found any washing machines. Well, I say that, I have found one a couple of, about a couple of months ago, and we've had videos recently, so... So that is there, you know? But uh, WFF, WFO... WFK, WOK, they're all in and around the same era. Let's see if we can get a date on this one. Push the door on that. It's only 2000 GB 14. I have a feeling this is like late 80s. There's a bit of yuck in there. This one's probably late 80s. I think the WFK that's in the garage is about 19. No, hold on, this one might be 90s, and the other one might be early 2000s. Either way, you're getting 20 to 30 years old there. I really like them. I think they're really good machines. This one's got a slightly thinner top, so I remember pairing them up. This one's got a fatter top. The lid, the lid on top is just a bit, or the cover on top is just a bit thicker. So they stand, it's hard to see that, but one is slightly taller than the other. When you're putting them side by side, that makes an issue, but you can, so many of the parts of these two are still interchangeable. None of the major parts, like the tops and the chassis, but all of the internal parts, door locks and all that kind of stuff are pretty similar. This one seems to have the same one as WFF inside, which is no surprise given that it's got a WFF thing on it. But it has the automatic uh, handle-free door, whereas the WFF 1401 has the kind of clip on the door, which the clip suits me better because it still has an interlock, but with this one you press the button. In this case it works fine, but on the one inside, the WFF 1800 that I have, when you press the door button, it doesn't pop. You still have to help it out by hand. Like I say, I've been told they're working, what I'll do is I'll test them in my own time and put up videos maybe of that. I've made a lint filter video for this one already. If you watch my channel it'll certainly not be any different from the other ones. I'll make a lint filter video for this one, um, for the one inside, and uh, yeah, washing machines all around. I'm doing other jobs in the house at the moment like laying floors and bathrooms and things like that so there's other things in the go and washing machines are kind of in the background and if you want to see videos of anything just give me a shout and tell me what, what it is you'd like to see but yeah in the meantime thanks for watching